Summarizing and paraphrasing. Enhancing your language skills. Hello and welcome to today's English language learning video. In this video, we will be diving into the fascinating world of summarizing and paraphrasing. These language functions are essential in academic and professional contexts, as they allow us to effectively convey information and ideas using our own words. So, let's sharpen our language skills and explore the art of summarizing and paraphrasing. Before we delve into the techniques of summarizing and paraphrasing, let's clarify what each of these language functions entails. Summarizing involves condensing a larger piece of information, such as a text or a speech, into a shorter version while retaining the main points and key ideas. It requires careful analysis and selection of the most relevant details. Summaries are particularly useful when you want to present an overview or provide a concise version of a lengthy piece of content. Paraphrasing, on the other hand, involves restating someone else's words or ideas in your own words. When paraphrasing, we aim to convey the same meaning while using different sentence structures and vocabulary. Paraphrases are valuable when we want to avoid plagiarism, express ideas more succinctly, or clarify complex concepts. Now that we understand the distinction between summarizing and paraphrasing, let's explore some effective techniques for summarizing information. These techniques will help you capture the essence of a text or speech while omitting less important details. 1. Identify the main idea. Read or listen carefully to the source material and determine its central theme or argument. This main idea will serve as the foundation for your summary. 2. Highlight key supporting details. Identify the most significant supporting points that contribute to the main idea. Focus on capturing the essential information that reinforces the core message. 3. Condense and rephrase. Use your own words to condense the main idea and supporting details into a coherent and concise summary. Be mindful of sentence structure, vocabulary choice, and maintaining the original meaning. 4. Check for coherence. Ensure that your summary flows logically and maintains a clear connection with the original source. Avoid introducing new information or altering the intended message. Now that we have explored summarizing techniques, let's turn our attention to paraphrasing. Paraphrasing allows us to reframe someone else's words or ideas in a manner that is both authentic and original. Here are some techniques to enhance your paraphrasing skills. 1. Understand the original. Before attempting to paraphrase, make sure you have a thorough understanding of the source material. Familiarize yourself with its main points and the nuances of its language. 2. Use synonyms and alternative expressions. Replace words and phrases from the original text with synonyms or alternative expressions. This helps maintain the core meaning while adding variety and originality to your paraphrase. 3. Rearrange sentence structures. Experiment with different sentence structures while preserving the original meaning. Change active voice to passive voice, rephrase complex sentences as simple ones, or alter the order of information to create a fresh paraphrase. 4. Maintain clarity and accuracy. While paraphrasing, ensure that your version accurately reflects the original meaning. Avoid distorting the message or introducing ambiguity. Use precise language to convey your ideas effectively. Congratulations! You've now gained valuable insights into the art of summarizing and paraphrasing. These language functions are indispensable in academic and professional settings, enabling you to effectively communicate complex ideas and showcase your language proficiency. Remember, mastering summarizing and paraphrasing takes practice, so keep honing your skills by applying. 